the friends. This is my healthy lunch meal prep, and I'm making three no-cook adult Lunchables that help me lose 130 pounds. I'm making a meat and cheese one, a tuna and crackers one, and a pepperoni pizza one. We're starting with the meat and cheese. I'm calling it a kit, and this is what you're gonna need, cute Rooney. Let's do it. I'm making two of these, one for me, one for Sasseru. So I have two containers and we get these at Walmart. I also got some of these muffin liners from the dollar store just to separate a few things. We need some lean kielbasa or kielbasa, extra lean. This is the extra lean ham one from Pillars. I have taken out of the package and taken the skin off. We need some light cheese. This is just a no name brand, less 40% less fat marble cheese cheese, some fresh fruit. I love buying these pre-cut up like fruit tray things because it's so much cheaper if you want a variety of fruit to get it like this. And then the work is already done for you. Literally just measure it out because we're going no cook and we're going quick and simple and tasty. Then we need some low calorie cookies. These are the Dare Simple Pleasures Spice Snaps. I call these Melba rounds, but they're like, if you wanna get like fancy, boulangerie, gristle, melba, <laughs> canapé, 12 grain. Basically low calorie crackers and about 110 calories worth. I've got my two containers here. I'm gonna start by cutting some of the sausage or kielbasa, however you wanna call it. I'm just gonna slice up a bit and then I'm gonna weigh it out. I want two ounces per Lunchable. All right, this is our new scale because our old one was super old. Uh, we got this off Amazon. We're not sponsored. It was just a, oopsie, a good deal. I'm still learning how to use it. Uh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> All right, 195 is close enough. I'm gonna chop another two ounces for the other container. Okay, we have the meat ready. I'm gonna put that over here. Let's get the cheese chopped up. I'm gonna do 30 grams as a serving of cheese. 30 grams, I'm gonna cube it because I think that would be the cutest. The that. cubist. The cubist, the cubist, the cubist. Oh, close enough guys, close enough. Let's make this um, two cubes a little bit smaller so we got lots of cute cheese action and we'll just throw these cubes here and then I'm gonna do 30 grams for the other container. Okay, now we're gonna do the fruit and I'm going to just pop open one of these. I love that it's a mix of every kind of fruit and I'm doing half a cup. So, you know, you can choose whatever fruit you like, half a cup and I'm going to put it in this divider here I loved Lunchables as a kid and I had like a really hard time at the beginning of my weight loss journey figuring out like what do I take for lunch? What do I take to work? What do I take like that's portable? And I remembered as a kid I love Lunchables. They're quick, portable, and super tasty. So I started making adult versions and not only did they help me, they're no cook. You literally throw them together. They're super quick, no effort, and they're tasty because you can put what you like in them. They also help me with portion control because at the beginning of my journey, I struggled with emotional eating. So any sort of calorie counting or number tracking really triggered that. And so I chose portion control to lose the weight and the Lunchables are so easy because they're literally perfect portions. And that really helps me stay on track. The friends, if you like portion control and you wanna see what else I ate, like my exact meals, my exact portions. I have a weight loss ebook called The First 50. It's exactly how I started my exact portion control meal plans, recipes, all that stuff. It's all in there. Code Nicole to save yourself 10%. Meal prep was one of the most important things that helped me lose the weight and keep it off for eight years. Because if I'm hungry and I don't have meals prepped, all heck breaks loose. I eat anything and everything. So I have prepped my meals for as long as our weight loss journey, plus the eight years that I've kept the weight off. So like 10 years and it, seriously, it's one of the most important things that I learned to help me be successful. Now that we got our fruit, we got our cheese, we got our meat, we need some crackers. So let's get these out. And for this um, 
110 cows worth is 10 crackers. Like we always say guys, don't get stuck on if you can't find exactly what we're using, like the exact foods, get as close as you can if you're gonna try out this one. Exactly, and that's why I always give you like, or get 110 calories worth. That way you can gauge it yourself. So 10 of these is 110-ish cows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, and I'm putting them in this cute little meth and liner just to separate um, so that nothing, you know, mushes into each other. And then we'll do the cookies and I'm hoping that the cookies Hey, we will... get dessert too. Yeah! I'm hoping the cookies will cutely fit. Now, because that's the whole thing, right? Like Lunchables, when you're a kid, they come with a treat. Well, I want my adult versions to come with a treat too. Come on now. So three of these and it's about 120 cows worth of cookies. So whatever, you know, low cow cookie you can get. So there we go. That is a adult no cook lunchable cutie. And look at how sweet that is. Literally, you are done. Your lunch is ready and you're excited to eat it, aren't you? Now, calories for this entire thing. 431 calories, 13 grams of fat, 38 grams of carbs, and 26 grams of protein. Now, like I said, I did portion control in the beginning, so I just use serving sizes for anyone that, you know, can't track numbers yet, but you guys often ask for calories, so I give you both, the portions and the cows, that way you can pick which one works for you. Number two, we are making a tuna and crackers lunchable or kit. I like calling them kits for some reason. So this is what we're gonna need. Um, some more of these containers, cause again, I'm making one for me, one for Sassy. So we need two divider containers, a smaller container for dip and a container for tuna. And then we're using a can of tuna cause I'm gonna split this in half. This is the chunk light tuna skipjack in water. So a can of that some chopped green onion and some chopped celery. I'm gonna use about a couple tablespoons. We need some light Miracle Whip. This is the calorie wise Miracle Whip. And we need some tzatziki. And this one I just got at our local grocery store. Costco has a good one. As long as it's um, 50 cals for two tablespoons, any brand works. We need the fruit. We need the muffin liners, the cookies from before and some crackers. These ones are the crisp and thin vegetable crackers. We get five of them for a serving and uh, about 115 cows worth of crackers. So whatever you can find low calorie wise and some baby carrots. So first I'm gonna make the tuna up and I'm just gonna put this whole can in. We often get a question in case you guys are wondering, like there's guys watching or spouses or whatever, Sassy eats the same lunches as me, but he eats more protein and more, a bigger breakfast in the morning. And then he eats more protein in his protein ice cream. So we eat like similar foods, but he just gets more and a lot more protein. So we've got the can of tuna and I'm going to put two tablespoons of the light miracle whip in here. So one and two. There you go, sweetheart. Two tablespoons worth of the green onion and of the celery, and then we're gonna make it up. You can salt and pepper it here if you would like, but I'm gonna wait and season it before I eat it. But you can do whatever you like. So I'm gonna mix this up, and then I'm gonna divide it between the two containers. Okay, I have the tuna divided up into the two containers. So one for each of us. And now I'm going to put the tzatziki in here. So we're gonna do two tablespoons per container. Let's stir this up. So one. And this is going to be for the carrots for dip. We need three ounces per container. So pop the, I'm gonna put the carrots over here. So three. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna do a half a cup of the fresh fruit. Oh goodness, I splinked that all over the mouth. There we go. So, uh... Okay, I'm gonna get some muffin liners now and I'm gonna do the cookies. So we're doing three cookies again. 
her containers. So we got three cute ones here and three cute ones here. These out. Wow, looking sweet. Five of these. There. Get another muffin liner. And then one, two, three, four, and five. There she is. Beautiful tuna lunch. Okay, so calorie wise for this Lunchable, 434 calories, 14 grams of fat, 60 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. You're gonna be full, you're gonna love it, you're gonna go, can't wait. And don't forget to bring a, sp a spoon to spoon on your tuna, honey, and some napkins. Now, we're moving on to number three, the pepperoni pizza Lunchable. Pepperoni pizza Lunchable. This is what you're gonna need. So we need an ounce of baby carrots, half a cup of cucumbers that I've cut into spears, a medium celery stalk that I've cut into little pieces, and one lean turkey pepperoni sliced. And these are the Grimm's lean turkey pepperoni. We get them from Costco. They're 50 calories a stick. They are so tasty. They do not taste like turkey at all. And so I've got two sets, one for me, one for Sass. We've got our two meal prep containers here. And then I'm gonna need three containers per meal, so six minis for like sauces and stuff. We need some whole wheat English muffins. This is an uh, just a no name, 120 calories per muffin, one per meal. We need some pasta sauce. We use pasta sauce because it's cheaper. You can use pizza sauce if you like. And we need some of that tzatziki from before. And the cookies, we also need 30 grams of shredded cheese per meal, and it's light cheese. We're using a no name, just a marble, 40% less fat, like I showed you earlier. I like to finely shred my cheese because it feels like I get more. Um, when you, you know, shred it with a normal shredder, it doesn't look like you get a lot. I like to trick myself. Okay, I'm gonna put the English muffin in. So I have sliced it already, and I'm just gonna store it in that container there. I'm gonna weigh out my one ounce of carrots. Great. Okay, one ounce of carrots. I'm gonna put my celery in, and then my cucumbers, like so. And then I'm gonna put one of those liners in with cheese. So I'm gonna weigh out the cheese. I'm gonna do 30 grams. See how much you get? Like it looks like you get a ton. Yeah. I love that. Okay, so we'll store our cheese here, like so. Three cookies again, like that. And I'm going to put the pepperoni into this little container here. So two tablespoons of sauce. And don't forget to bring a spoon and napkins with this one so you can spoon on your sauce. And you'll love napkins for a metharoonie. So we got this. Of course, you do the sauce, you do the pack, you do the cheese. And you can eat it cooler, you can warm it up wherever you go. If you got a toaster or a microwave or whatever. Whatever floats your boat. I'm probably gonna eat them cold because I like cold pizza. So two tablespoons of the tzatziki again. And that is your pizza Lunchable. You got the dip and the veg, you got the pep pizza, you got the carrots. <laughs> those are not carrots, those are cookies. It's the beautiful extravaganza. For this meal or Lunchable, it's 450 calories, 17 grams of fat, 52 grams of carbs, and 25 grams of protein. So the friends, there you go. Three beautiful no-cook adult Lunchables, super tasty with a treat. These are not just Lunchables to me, they are lifesavers. Portion control and things that I really loved to eat literally saved my life. My weight was causing me serious health problems. I was 275 pounds and I knew every day that I stayed that weight, I was putting my life at risk. So finding things like this that I like literally jump out of bed to make and to eat, it really helps. I hope this helps you guys, gives you some ideas. Hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you love it. Watch this vid and this vid for more fun weight loss tips for sustainable weight loss with real food and real people.
people like this cool is right here. You ain't gonna find no one realer than this, bud. HTLT steps. The pre-pump is amazing. It gives such good pumps. It makes your muscles full and the creatine. Creatine is so good. Your body naturally makes it, but this really helps when you take more of it because your body doesn't make enough and it keeps my muscles Whoa. full. And it makes me have cute muscles and it helps me lift, really, this be strong and lift heavier and a little bit longer, a little more reps. Code Nicole to save yourself 10%. I love you cuties. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your love and support, sweethearts. Love ya. See ya. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.